Hello and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. And yes, we are building a kitchen at this point. We do need one. Um, we have some stuff that needs to go into this little thingy. And if I'm not entirely wrong, I'm actually going to turn off eating the mushroom and the bristle berries. Um, I'm not going to turn off the meal ice. I'm not going to turn off the muck root. I am going to... Why can't I see? Oh my god, please. Oh my god, Clay, why? Why? What is this bollocks? Okay, good. I know I don't have any. I don't know have any. I don't want them to eat any more muck root. I don't want them to eat a nutrient bars. I don't want them to eat the meat. Um, at this point, we are actually going to turn off some stuff and start making some other stuff. Because here's the interesting thing. When you start doing this, look at this. Bristleberry. 1,600 uh, kilocalories will become gristleberry 2,000 kilocalories and the quality will go up because bristleberry is is quality zero terrible while gristleberry the cooked version not only has more calories, it has a higher quality. So, we are going to make them forever, and we are going to make fried mushrooms forever. And we are going to make omelettes forever. But we are going to put this, uh, like, on the next one. And I'm going to, I don't need to clear this, so I'm not going to. Uh, it's actually more important to make like this area here build it out and make it um, so we need a bit of power we do want a coal generator we want a battery and then we want this to be powering this and this and this and a coal generator will uh, output enough uh, power for all of the these ones you can see here uh, this takes 60 watts 60 watts is 120 together and this one microbe musher takes 240 that's quite a lot for like one thing and you can make oh tofu that's new that's new Uh, you can make mush bar and mush bar is something you can make as long as you have dirt and water but yeah it's a grizzly it's really bad it's not something you want to make just to be very clear here it's not some, some something you want to eat since it's just water and mud it's a mud pie <laughs> Lice loaf is a bit better. It's meal lice and water. It's still a lot of water, so I should advise not to do it. Since you have to use water. Tofu. Still a bunch of water. Uh, berry sludge is actually quite good. Uh, if you want to make, make use of the micro musher. And... 
you want to make basically the worst kind of food you can make. Uh, berry sludge is actually really good because but it does require five sleet wheat grain and 1600 kilocalories of bristle berry and it makes uh, 4000 kilocalories of berry sludge and has a quality of good so plus three. So it's actually quite good, but um, maybe not something you want to do. I'm going to disable this one. This is my emergency food maker. It's not, not something I want to use, but I will use it if it's an emergency. And yes, to actually use the electric grill, you have to have uh, power connected. It needs power to actually run. And do you, Gossman, have a good construction? No, you have a terrible construction. So move away, away from there, please. Do you have better? Yeah, you have a six. That's better. I'm not going to take as long. Um, we might need to do a bit more research, maybe. I'm going to go over the base to see if this anything that needs sweeping there might be a bunch of stuff that needs to be s designated for sweeping at this point I'm going to take away the meal ice there we go I'm not going to sweep that and yes We are fine when it comes to food, but we have to get the electric grill and stuff up and running. I will have to put the coal generator at an, on a 9 to actually get it done, uh, apparently. They probably have a lot of stuff uh, to do up here, for example. see how does yeah a lot of heat is leaking from over here into here still um it is stabilizing a bit i mean it's six degrees over here where it was minus before so thanks to this insul insulated tile wall it is stabilizing but yeah we do need to fix this a bit let's see what do we want to put here we can put a prior seed just to begin with this increases the the decor so it's nothing nothing massive but it does actually increase a little bit genius masterpiece that's Interesting. Await awaiting delivery. Read fiber one. Uh, okay, but I do have a bunch of them laying around. Maybe it's because I can't get to it or they are too lazy to... Yeah, finally we have the coal generator up and running. And... Uh, yeah, Ren will probably not do anything other than... <laughs> Um, no, I'm actually going to say, uh, once he's done this one, is you're going to do this one first. Um, I'm going to prioritize, like, good stuff in this one and less good stuff in this one. You could make pickled meal, but... 
Uh, you might want to consider that because it's grisly. The meal lice is gr <laughs> grisly and you don't get an increase in food, just <laughs> basically the same, so it's a waste of power. <laughs> But yes, we are actually coming along quite nicely. We are actually getting to the point where we have better food than just terrible food. And here, yeah, here we can see one with, um, with um, Quick Learner, where they have plus three science instead of minus three, which is good. No taste is actually really good because if you eat food that gives zero in morale, you actually get plus one. So, and if you eat food that's plus one, you get plus two. So, and if you eat minus one, you get zero. So, and zero is zero. Um, ranching decorating like all of these are interesting choices for different reasons uh what's actually really interesting is catalina would actually be a good choice for <laughs> this duplicate Dull senses could barely tell the difference between stuffed berry and cardboard. <laughs> uh, th there's some really interesting, uh, <clears throat> really good uh, <laughs> flavor texts. And there's some really dark ones, like, like uh, a Catalina is admired by all of her seemingly tireless work ethic. Little do people know she's dying on the inside. So yeah, there's a... Leiras just want everyone to be happy. So yeah, there, there's um, <laughs> there's some really good flavor text. Some really funny ones as well. But I yeah, probably won't go with Nicola. Uh, even if his interests are but I know need decorating. Suit wearing would be good. And you're uncultured, but you're not epileptic. Sure, Catalina would not be that good because she's unconstructive, but everyone else can build. So having one that can't build is not catastrophic. Um, I could just go with the, the nymph eggs, like the shine nymph egg, three of them, but now I'm going to go with Catalina. Uh, we are going to go up to six duplicates at this point. So welcome to the colony, Catalina. And she gets a skill point, which will go towards farming. This is something you have to be aware of. Ranching requires farming one. But if you don't have an interest in farming, you will not get... Like, it, there's no increasing... So, yeah. Which is a bit... I would probably... I would probably like it more if... Uh, for example... All... Uh, everyone that... Uh, that take farming one gets... Say... Plus two farming, but one husbandry. Or something like that, or husbandry being its own branch. But 
whatever. I do see where they're coming from, uh, linking it to to it like that, but. Enable auto harvest. Uh, body temperature, yes, way, way too cold over here. Um, yeah, the cycle is ending, so they are having some downtime. One thing to be careful of is how many visits the outhouse has remaining. And it might actually be a really good thing to um, like emptying them every cycle or every other cycle. M like manually going in and saying clean toilet. Uh, but other than that, I think we are just going to Yeah, you have 10 strength. That's good Means it's actually not that low Yeah, and thanks to being careful in the beginning when it comes to like bathrooms and stuff like that um it means i don't have any problem with food poisoning and food poisoning is something which kills quickly a duplicate can very quickly die because They, um, they don't have, um, a way of curing quick enough. So getting food poison, like getting rid of food poisoning through medicine is actually a really valid strategy and it's really good because yeah, food poisoning is super bad. <laughs> it would be nice if you could, like, get all this stuff into the right uh, ration box. Like, sort of nowish. Thank you, Catalina, for being the best dupe ever. And, oh, right, she doesn't have, but she, right, she's a rancher, so. And the reason why I do want to rancher is because I do want to be ranching. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to go for. If I should go for like Dracos in hydrogen to get glossy Dracos so I can get uh, plastic. Plastic is something which you might need quite quickly, but it's going to take quite a while until you until you can get it. Um, so the reason why I'm doing this is the slime over here. I want to build over here and it's also to block out the eventual heat that's over here as well 
So. I hope this can get built sometime. Like. Soon. There will be a bit of water running around. Being on the loose, but. Not necessarily something I can do, or, like I can do anything about. Might have to just deal with it. Uh, are there any eggs around? Doesn't look like it, no. <laughs> what I'm going to do is just actually bump up the priority of the ra uh, ration box so someone has a higher priority of putting everything into the box uh, you need to be careful if you ever played RimWorld or similar uh, games you do need to be careful uh, of the priority trap really where at some point you might get to a situation where everything is priority nine or top priority and nothing will get built because of it um and that's something to be careful or like you have to be careful with that because can catch you off guard if you're not careful so uh, right yeah there's quite a way until you get to all the sandstone at this point we do need to dig out more sandstone uh, because we are using a bunch of sandstone for for the insulated tiles and all of these ladders um, I mean every ladder is um, 100 kilos of um, sandstone we do have a lot of sandstone just quite far away and we are on to the next cycle and um, yes um, I will try to dig out this area I'm not sure exactly which way I'm going to go um, like digging out the slime is fine but I do need to fix some things. I will probably have to put uh, I will probably have to put like all of the stuff that I can dig up in here, like all of the different kind of materials I can get in here, I need to um, create uh, storage bins for for them, like in two or three of them, and then. Um, basically then basically um move all things in here that isn't slime into those storage bins and make and then seeing okay is there anything in here that's like 
have any germs, like slime lung germs. Um, and then if there's no slime lung germs, I will like make sure they don't like they don't uh, I will remove everything out of them and then put them to be sweeped and then have to do that until everything other than the slime is gone basically uh, and there we go and, and this this wall here means that none of the heat over it, like the little heat that's, that's there can get through in here it's going to have to take a bit of detour to actually get in so I would need to put like an insulated tile around here and da especially down here would be necessary yeah I have to sweep that, I think. Yeah, they do move a bit uh, like staggerly because they uh, are jumping from one ladder to the next. So, does go a bit slower than he otherwise would, but yes um yeah we do have a max amount of so we are going to take the spicy tofu but no one will be allowed to eat it spicy tofu is morale of 16. Ooh, ooh, that's really good yeah they have ha actually made barbecue less good because that was actually plus 16 in morale so Thank you for moving it into the box. And having like one dedicated cook means that one person will get a higher, uh, a really high uh, attribute of cuisine, which means uh, the cooking speed will be quite high. So, like the speed which you cook things in will be actually quite high. This is going to be a bit, probably a decent rate, actually. And we, someone, Ren, has gained a skill point, and Ruby has as well. Uh, I'm not actually going to give Ruby any, because he... not. Uh, though Ren will get the construction, improved construction 3. Because he has a heart for it, so... Um, I'm not at the point where I could say you're not allowed to eat mealice anymore. What I could do is probably take it away from their like available food. But I will probably need to grow them still, just in case. Not sure how I have the leeway of uh, removing that, but with that I can... I was attentive enough of catching the time, so... We're going to call this episode. Not sure really where we're going to go right now. Like. Food is fine. Um, we are digging into the slime biome quite efficiently. Um, 
I might dig out like this to like this to get basically to get um, more of like more space for polluted water and like a good place to start suck, uh, putting in putting a liquid pu uh, uh, pump like putting a pump here like that and then pumping all the water the polluted water into a water sieve which then pumps the water somewhere maybe up here to warm up maybe we'll see uh, or cool down the water and warm up the area or whatever um, I'm just quickly I sh probably shouldn't if I'm going to end the episode but I mean what could possibly go wrong maybe we won't have a 30 minutes episode but uh, 35 um, but anyway like this basically like like this and dig it out let the water run down and put a pump in here because yeah having a pump down there uh, pre-built uh, can actually be quite good if we then run like this and then a water pipe like this we can actually um, yeah and we do need to fix the like use the water and other than that i think we are good we do need to put like plonk down uh like an area where we want the clean water to get but that's it because i don't think we want it in here uh to be honest uh, i don't think i want it in this where this water is I will probably want to once this water is used up uh, remove all like all this I want to remove so but yes with that we are a bit past 30 minutes uh, because I've been rambling and doing other stuff uh, but with that I will end the episode and um, say Thanks for watching, goodbye, and I hope I'll see you in the next one.